This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Just, uh, you know, it's kind of just, it was almost like the game last night, except they put together a good inning and got a, a couple big hits and, uh, you know, got got the three run lead. Uh, you know, we had a runner on third with with one out early in the game. I think it was might have been the bottom of the third. We didn't score. That was that was rough, uh, especially in that type of game. You kind of see what was going on. Teams were kind of feeling each other out, trying to figure it out. And uh, you know, then they came out with, and got on McIntyre. I mean, he just he just didn't locate the first inning. After that, he was really really good, and he gave us an opportunity to win the game. And I was proud of him for hanging in there and. Uh, you know, kept getting them out, but, uh, you know, their, their pitchers kept getting us out as well. So, uh, tomorrow's a big game for both teams and I think it'll be a, a great ball game. What was, uh, Mahoney doing so well to keep y'all off balance up at the plate? Well, he mixed his pitches really well. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you need to talk to the hitters about that. I wasn't standing up there. How would you assess Brady Tigert's start today? I thought he was good, real good. Um, you know, spotted his fastball in and out, breaking ball change up. I mean, he he pitched well. And, uh, you know, 37 pitches, 40 was really the most we really wanted him to go tonight. And, um, you know, it's, it's always encouraging when he, you know, he throws well, uh, limited pitches, but at the same time, we're thinking about down the road and, you know, down the road's getting here going to be here before we know it so uh hopefully we can build him up maybe next week he can go 50 or, or who knows what but uh you know we got a short week like everybody in the league so uh you know we didn't want to pitch him too much do you feel like McIntyre might have turned the corner these last few weeks in this role you know he give up the the few hits but it's not like they were barreled all over the yard or anything do you think you might have found something with this role with him that this might be the best way to use him yeah I think he likes coming out of the pen a little bit you know it's Probably like starting an inning the way it's been been working out so far, but uh, yeah, I, I think he's thrown the ball really well and stretched him out tonight, almost 100 pitches, 98 or something. And uh, you know, he still still had the same velocity at the end of the game uh, that he that he started with for the most part, upper 80s, 90 miles an hour, and um, spotted up some good cutters and I mean, pitched well. Tiger, I was just wondering how definitive is your plan the next few weeks moving forward in terms of how you're going to ramp him up and how tempting is it to want to kind of keep him out there when he's pitching as well as he's been pitching lately? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's tempting. We'd have liked to like him pitch five innings tonight if we could, but uh, we didn't, we just didn't feel like that was a, the safe thing to do. And uh, I don't know, you know, I mean, we'd like to start him, uh, you know, down the road, but you know, maybe we have to just use him out of the pen uh, in relief. We don't we don't know how we're going to handle him yet. We're just going to let let him show us what to do a little bit, but also the game's going to tell us what to do and how how we we need to how we need to work our pitching staff to win games because really, you know, the games from here on out, you get to a certain point, it's all about elimination. Before you reached reached three times and scored all three, just one for three in that department tonight. You feel like that made a difference? Yeah, we didn't get our leadoff man on very much. It didn't seem like. And, you know, the one inning that, like I said, that really stands out, we get a leadoff double from the nine hole. And then uh, Josenberger's fun for a hit, but knows it might end up being a sack and, you know, gets him over there. And then, you know, we don't get him in. It was, it was a little disappointing. Um, but, you know, it happens. Give their their pitcher credit. He, he pitched out of a couple of jams and, uh, you know, he deserved to win. As far as silver linings go, do you feel pretty good about having only used four pitchers to this point in the series? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, tomorrow, you never know how it's going to go. I mean, you got two teams that score runs uh, by hitting the ball out of the park a little bit, and uh, the wind's going to change directions a little bit tomorrow unless that's changed. And, you know, it, it could be crazy tomorrow. It might be two to one. You never know with this game. But, uh, you know, I think that the pitchers that have pitched for us, Four guys in two days have, have all four done a really good job. So what was the scouting report on Mahoney and what, what were they saying about what he was doing that kind of kept him off? You can, you can ask the hitters when they get here. Yeah. So what was the report like? What, what did we expect? Well, everything we got. He's going to throw the ball 94 to 96 miles an hour. 
with a good slider and a changeup, and he's got sink. And it looked like to me he's doing what we told him. You know, he can try to finish our lefties fastballs in. And, uh, you know, he did that a couple of times. He he pitches in more than a lot of pitchers do. Uh, you know, like Callie, he, Callie kind of got jammed three times tonight, I think. So, uh, you know, so give him credit, man. He located and he did a great job. I assume you'll start Holland tomorrow. Just how confident are you going into a rubber match with a guy like that on the mound? Uh, I mean, I'm very confident. I'm confident in our team. I'm, uh, I want I want to see how they react or if they got beat. You know, I hadn't lost a conference game in a while. I haven't lost at home in a while. Uh, didn't do anything tonight, really. Just kind of played. Didn't mess up. It didn't didn't do anything. Yeah, I hope they bounce back and play really well tomorrow. And I'm very confident with him on the mound. Kendall's been driving in a ton of runs for you this year and in recently as well, but 0 for 3 and opportunities tonight. Just Was it just a matter of him being kind of due for an off night? Yeah, you know, I mean, it is what it is. What, what do you do? You know, you can't get on the guy for not driving people in because he's been been the best at it for us, especially since, you know, Wagner went down. He's been our RBI guy for the most part. And it's moved around a little bit, but he's been very consistent. So, I imagine he'll bounce back tomorrow. BetOnline.ag is your number one source for all your basketball info, stats, news, and scores. Get the latest odds and lines, including the latest player reports for this year's pro basketball playoffs. BetOnline is always your sports information headquarters this season, as we have you covered for all your sports wagering needs. Basketball, MLB, NHL hockey, right down to UFC and boxing. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way for you to get your betting info, including live betting options and your favorite casino and card games you can play right from your home. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to get in on the action. Be sure to use our promo code BELIEVE to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. That's B L E A V. B L E A V. Bet online. Where the game starts.